Good evening, everyone. Welcome, man. I'm here for a very rare Saturday night stream. And of course, it's because I am here tonight to stream the two guys from Andromeda Space Venture. After 10 years in the making, this Kickstarter dream has finally come true. And if you've been following the reaction online, uniformly positive. Nobody has anything but great things to say about this game. So we're going to dive in and uh, and give it its, uh, its best shot. I'm looking forward to this. I'm really curious to see where this goes. I basically played through like the first two puzzles. Uh, and uh, I'm curious to see what comes next. I wanted to stream this last night, uh, but I'm rip-roaring and ready to go uh, here today. Good to see everyone. Hey, Ricky. Hey, FF. Mike. There's Nick. Hey. We've got all kinds of fun people here. We've got Nathan. We have got Slat Studio. Sheldorn. Oh, my goodness. Is this popular? as <laughs> code name ass man. It's getting up there. It's uh, it's approaching some of uh, some of Sierra's best. But y'all know. I mean, I think a lot of y'all know. Long before I was like the guy with the ch with the Twitch channel, before I was the Stairquest guy, uh, before I was the Soda Machine guy, or any of those other sorts of things, I was kind of a Space Quest guy. Like that's how I, I guess, made a lot of the friends that I've made on the internet through the years. Running a Space Quest fan site, Roger Wilco's Virtual Broom Closet. I'm a, I'm a real mega fan of the Space Quest series and love the work of the two guys from Andromeda. Um, I actually made two fan games dedicated to Space Venture before the Kickstarter was even over. Uh, Pledge Quest 1 and Pledge Quest 2. So I've already made fan games to Space Venture, which uh, makes it sort of weird now that we're a decade later and I'm finally playing Space Venture. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what sort of adventure we can get into. But welcome, everybody. I'm Jess. If this is your first time here, yeah, I'm a retro streamer, point-and-click kind of guy. So glad to have you. Hey, Average Goon, good to see you. Should we just jump in? Is it time to do this thing? Do we want to We wanna just make this happen? I'll, I'll push the button. All right, here we go. Let me just load up the game, and we'll see if right away we can get things running. And play. Hopefully in just a second, that will be replaced. Ah, <laughs> we did it. Sweet. <laughs> okay, great question. How is Space Venture so far? First of all, it might be a little loud. Uh, let's see if I can turn down the uh, settings a little bit. There, that's probably a little bit easier to get through. Uh, how is Space Venture so far? Well, let me tell you. I've played the first few minutes of this game, and the first thing that leaps out at me, here in the main menu, the settings button doesn't do anything, which I feel like is maybe an unforced error at some level. Like, that's that's too bad. Like, I would love to tinker with things like volume control, but sadly not an option. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, so the se settings button doesn't do anything. So that's how so Space Venture is so far shut north. But the theme song, which I'm guessing was composed by Ken Allen, uh, Sierra uh, composer, sounds wonderful. I wonder here if we were dealing with something that was originally set for a 4-3 aspect ratio, and that's why there's all this negative space over on this side of the screen, but I honestly don't know. Yeah, it is Ken Allen's excellent music. It sounds fantastic. Hey, JJZ.exe. Good to see you. Let's start the game. What am I doing here? What am I doing? Why am I delaying? Settings are for janitors. Coffee's for closers. Good evening, everyone. Deep Space Research Station, Nostradamus. Registry, Centauri Corp. I really like the look of these 3D exteriors. I think they look pretty sharp. Hey, good to see you musically inspired. Uh-oh, you got your... <laughs> yeah, there are some Space Quest 2 vibes, right? <laughs> musically inspired. <laughs> Juicy phrases like blows me away. That's going to... That's going to trigger Twitch every time. Such rough language. All right, let's do this thing. We'll walk forward. I'm 
terribly sorry, but we're not taking any deliveries today, my good fellow. You know, you see, we're having a bit of a, um, <clears throat> situation here. Uh, so please do come back, uh, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> Until then. Yeah, I'm Ace Hardway from Galaxy Rooter. Let me guess, you're the facility manager, right? You called us something about a problem with your LSS, you know, your life support system. That little thing there, kind of crucial. Oh, splendid. <laughs> yes, I am the acting facilities manager. My name is Mervyn Spleen. Mervyn Spleen. But you can call me Mr. Spleen. Uh, it is about time you showed up, I must say. Yeah, blame the traffic on the beltway for that. So, uh, Mr. Spleen, was it? You want to, you know, let me in? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, of course. Security lockdown override initiated. Security. Lockdown. Well, that's nice. Oh, yes, that. Uh, pay it no mind. You're clear to open the airlock door now. Uh, do hurry, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. All right, new objective. like your standard airlock mechanism. Oh, geez, that's great. I thought I'd seen them all. But apparently not. Yeah, Nathan, it kind of jumps right into the action here. We go straight in. All right, so we have sort of a verb coin interface. Looks like your standard airlock door for the most part, except for the overly complex and redundant opening mechanisms. Even look at his own butt butt. All right, so. Just touching the handle won't make it turn. I gotta apply some directional force. So what we got here are puzzles that involve like dragging things. We're gonna be dragging stuff and manipulating our environment that way. I will say, it doesn't signal that maybe as clearly as we would hope, but... Uh-oh, now it quit working. Okay, there we go. Yeah, designed with touch screens in mind very much. Okay. Sweet. Progress made. So we drag this down. <clears throat> now then, how are we coming along with that airlock door? Just a minute. Yeah, I don't love the dragging either, and it shows up in a few places early on. It's an interesting approach, and yeah, for touch screens, it makes a lot more sense, I feel like. Yeah, sorry about that, but your mechanism got a little stuck there. I can take care of that for you, lube it up. Just a minor extra charge. Look, um, Ace, was it? Yes, how great. I'm a little depressed for time, so could we, um... All right, I get the picture. So, uh, what's the problem with life support? What's it, uh, not supporting life? Or <laughs> we appear to have uh, something blocking our reactor cooling system, making temperatures a tad uncomfortable, uh, to put it mildly. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like a freaking sauna in here. No worries, though. I deal with this sort of thing all the time. Fascinating. Well, it sounds like we certainly called the right man for the job, didn't we? <laughs> My goodness, look at the time. I must move <laughs> along, so I'll leave you to your task, shall I? <laughs> yes. Hey, relax. I'm a certified professional. I'll have your system back up to nominal flow status ASAP. <laughs> guaranteed. Oh, and more important, is your cafeteria still open? I was hoping to, you know, maybe get a bite on the way in. Huh. Well, he was in a hurry. Least he could have done was point me to the cafeteria. I should have hit Taco Nova when I had the chance. Taco Nova. Well, I'll just knock this job out pronto and grab a little something later. I didn't realize that was Maurice LaMarche as Ace. Is there like a little bit of a filter on his voice or something? Okay, time to get to work. Now to find the ship's reactor. He kind of has like a sound of like being trapped in a can like Prince Albert or something. I did like the Dr. Smith references, right? That was very good. Lost in space action. It does look like the ship from Space Quest 5. You're right, Ricky. So this is... Looks like your standard Nostromian oh, class deep space scientific research facility interior. You know, I'll put some hollow mirrors on the walls to create the illusion of space. Man, I gotta stop watching those. Oh no, my belt just gave me a notification. I think this is supposed to start a tutorial. Is it locked? Is it not happening? Like, this is supposed to be a notification from Ace's phone. Ah. Here we go. iMom app would like to send you push notifications. Yes. Hello, Ace. It's your mother. Mommy? 
That's right, dear. Your very own virtual mother is here to help in any way she can. You need only ask. Ah, uh, well, uh, Mom, what I could use right now is some directions for finding my way around this ship. Why, certainly, dear. I would be more than happy to access... This is Ellen McLean, right? GLaDOS? But I think someone has forgotten to use the magic word. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, sorry, Mom. Listen, if you'd just be a peach and route us to the nearest elevator, please, that'd be just, uh, well, really swell. But of course, dear, a mother <laughs> lives for her baby. Allow me to access the database. Mother ah, lives for her is. baby. Calculating. Calculating. Sheesh. Simple maps app is all I need. What was that, dear? You'll need to enunciate more clearly. It's called thinking out loud, Ma. You always want to make a good first impression, Ace. You never know when you may be speaking to that special lady or a prospective employer. Of course, your mother is patient because she knows you mean well and that you will heed her advice. Voice work is good. I think the writing is pretty sharp. Like, I pick up what feels like a pretty clear Scott Murphy style voice in, uh, in this performance. So, I, or, sorry, in the writing here. So I like that. I'm, um, yeah, I mean, there's there's a fair bit. We got to pull it up here. Like, Ace has a phone and, like. Ah, the app's auto updating. That's inconvenient timing. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, phone based humor. Like, you can go to the app shop and download, uh, <laughs> download apps that are. <laughs> Welp. Actually, Welp is pretty good. Um, uh, Spacebook. Fritter. That sounds like fun. Clucky Bird. So we're going to slide some crates. Definitely say Wait. Up. Oh, there we go. It's the Taco Nova app. I don't think it'll read my palms. Okay, so we need a key. I think after 25 years, the designers would have something more original than a key card reader. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, having a couple of the motion-related puzzles right away is an interesting choice. There's always a key card. Got to be a key card. Come on, Ace. Get with the program. Okay, this is the red room. Hmm. Dual standard schedule 30 carbon alloy conduits. 350 mil OD, of course. Butt welded. Nice. Butt welded. Nice. That's butt butt welded. All right, you pipes, talk to me. Tell me your secrets. Tell me where it hurts. <laughs> so it looks like it's highlighted here as if you can look at something, but this is something that's an inconsistent bug in the game where there shouldn't be that yellow glow around the eye unless you're on a hot spot, but sometimes it doesn't turn on and off. So it's not as useful as it could be. So how cute is Ruder, our little robot dog slash toolbox? I mean, that part is great. And we're going to use the map puzzle here in a minute, and then we will have officially gotten as far as I've gotten in this game. It's a bug. It's an undocumented feature. Says, hey, Eden. Sadly, Ace doesn't have any pocket left. I don't do windows. Hmm. So we'll just do like this and one of those. Sweet! It's a key card. <laughs> that is. It is good since it's only available on Windows. Yeah, Rooter's the toolbox, which is a lot of fun. Hey, Robin. Good to see you. Welcome, man. You're here just in time for Space Adventure. Got it. Okay, we got a key card. So we have a few unvoiced lines here and there. That was one of them. 
I'm guessing it's incidental text that wasn't anticipated at the time the voiceover recordings happened and there probably wasn't time to go up and get pick up dialogue from any of the performers. So I guess we have a few little things like that. Oh, I hope he doesn't end up being like Floyd from Planet File. I can't handle it. No spoilers, but... Oh. Okay. That's... Oh, crap. Well, I give myself credit for thinking outside the box, at least. Well, of course, that... Hmm. That crate is blocking access. Is it? I don't think it is, Ace. Okay. Hey, 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 Clil, how's it going? Hey, Atomic Matter, welcome in. He cards it, guys, man, drop the game. You gotta love it. Okay. So I'm a little bit worried here. Feels like I could be soft locked. That's right. My giant head is blocking access to the door. I do have a larger than average size melon gourd. Hey, good to see you, Sierra Offline. Welcome in. It's, you're here just in time for Space Venture. I saw your tweet about it earlier. We may have hit our first soft lock if this doesn't work out. Welcome in. Let's see here. So we're gonna try to open this door again. Okay, this time it worked. Good. Good, good, good. The door swishes open, and a wave of satisfaction rushes over Ace. Sure, it's not the level of satisfaction one gets from performing a triple bypass on a unilateral phase detractor, but it's up there. Decent uh, voiceover on the narrator. I like it. It's not bad. It's no Gary Owens, but you know. All right, so here we are. Check this out, y'all. I wonder what's back there. There's more crap in the way. I see a Roger Wilco style tunic. I see some black boots over here and someone asleep in a janitor's closet. First of all, this is a nice closet. I think we can all agree. Nice closet is what we're dealing with here. No, sadly, Gary Owens passed away before he had a chance to record his dialogue for this game. Uh, really a, a loss there. This closet. Nice closet. Hey, there's our nice closet. <laughs> oh no, it's a sticker party for the next one minute. Robin and Nick have triggered a sticker party. Hover over the video window, all stickers are free. Let's celebrate. Wow, look at all that. Look at all that beautiful sticker party, all that mess all over our screen. We've got guys from Andrama. We've got Jim Walzes's. We've got Sam and Crow's Touch. <laughs> We've got it all. <laughs> Thank you all for the stickers. This will just take about 30 seconds to clear up. It'll all be fine. And then we'll get back to the action. There's some trog doors. I saw a couple of Roberta's in there. Oh, we're having fun now. This is what you pay for. <laughs> all right ask me about loom okay they're peeling off now we'll get back to the action welcome in everybody by the way this is a great crowd for a saturday night <laughs> get out of here edison family a bunch of weirdos all right <laughs> there's something very satisfying about watching all the stickers peel away right Okay, we're getting back to action. Okay. So here we are. We're in this closet. <laughs> if you just joined us for the crazy sticker party, we're in this closet, and now we're going to see one of the more interesting mechanics, I think, from this game. We're going to take Rooter. <laughs> well, I said that, and then it didn't work. We're going to take Rooter, if I can remember how. 
Um, let's see. I think we talked to him to make him go into toolbox mode, right? I don't normally talk to inanimate objects, but in your case, I'll make an exception. But just this once, okay? See, I think I got an error message there. It thought I clicked on non-clickable place, nope. but... Yeah, what would be the point of that? Ah, nope. Okay. A little bit, uh, a little bit weird. It is a very nice closet. There's no question. So we're going to put that on the shelf. And then we're going to go into our phone. Sadly, none of this is tutorialed anywhere. So you kind of just have to figure it out. Here's an app on our phone for router control. And then What's router. That, buddy? You want up on that shelf? Yeah. He's already on the shelf face. Then we'll just jump down here. And then we'll use Reuter to do this. Ah, that's unfortunate. That's supposed to be a death. The first time I did this, if you don't clear out of the way, uh, it killed me. It left Ace dead on the ground, but um, it didn't do it this time. <laughs> it was supposed to be a death. <laughs> but I, uh, I enabled um, enabled uh, wall clips first, so I just uh, I went into clipping mode. Um, it's all fine. It's all fine. <laughs> Sheldorn, you ask, is it true that the lock, walkthrough leads to soft locks? Uh, that's definitely been reported so, by some folks. So I think soft locks are just a problem at the current state. Something about this shirt looks familiar. She's definitely seen better days. How does this guy still have a job here? Oh, where am I seeing that? Crap, this is gonna bug me till I remember. I like the Roger Wilco Skills. reference. Nice. That's an interesting camouflage pattern. I don't know they made camo underwear. Wait a second. That's not camouflage. That's not camouflage! <laughs> There's some weird guy camp back here, probably sleeping on the job. No point in disturbing him. Yeah, we nearly got rocked from King's Quest 1 by that one, Eden Way. This guy's out of it. He slept through us moving the crate lift. I'm gonna let him snooze. Nope. Best not to wake him. Still his boots. Sleepy guy's boots. I can Sleepy smell guy. those things from here. Let's get what we need, boy, and get out of here before I pass out. I'll do a lot of things, but I'm not touching those. You would do anything for love, but you won't do that. <laughs> Through the table of hot spots. Maybe. Okay, had to click it a few times, but now we got it. All right, so now it's hidden object game time. You've seen sliding piles, welcome to hidden objects. Ha, huh. Clunk Yeager on a cereal box? He's my all-time favorite video game character. And now there's a breakfast cereal? How did I not know about this? Yeah, you know, JJC, I really like the writing so far, too. I feel like it has the wit. I mean, if you like the two guys Andromeda-style comedy, I think it captures that. So that's definitely a good thing. Cans of Yowza energy drink? Huh. A lot of good they did that guy. I like that we have little things like the Space Piston magazine here from Space Quest 2. We have copies you can see peeking out here of the Roger Wilco Space Quest comic book series. Uh, that came out briefly during the 90s. Hey, Grundy, good to see you. What a disorganized mess. I'm going to have to dig a little to find anything useful in here. Good thing I'm sporting hand protection. Wired Magazine here is an interesting choice. Like, in a world where all of your brands have been boulderized to some degree, just flat out calling it Wired um, here instead of uh, some sort of parody name is, is an odd choice. I wonder how Wired feels about it. Ah, Wired. Retro print edition. Good mag. Wrong edition. Ah, wired. The retro print edition. Good mag. <laughs> hey, my bot just mentioned uh, our Discord, codename Iceman the Ride. Uh, if you're a fan of adventure games and gaming in general, it's a cool, inclusive place to hang out with folks with interesting opinions about games. Feel free to join us over there. That old drill has seen better days. Looks fried beyond repair. It's one of those old-timey robot toys. I know a guy who owns a bunch of these. Yeah, Mark Crow, guy from Andromeda, famously collects toy robots. It's like one of those hidden object games. 
<laughs> Hope I don't disturb any space vermin. Come to Papa. So what did I just get? I open up my inventory here. Acme grip remover. Grip glue remover. It's like it says on the bottle. <laughs> yes, they definitely hung a lantern all over this one. Let's see here if we can do some. So we're back to moving things. No need. I got my own super modified multifunction rooter tool. Right, little buddy? So you can't take that, but... Yahtzee. You can get a socket. This might save me a trip. Eh, it's toast. Don't need it. Good thing I got a layer of latex between my... Oops. Didn't mean to overdo that. Yeah, it's glued shut. Yeah. Zap on. The best. I wonder what shiny bits of tool envy you can seal. Shiny bits of tool envy. All right. Acme grip glue remover. Hey, just like it says on the bottle. It's a good narrator voice. Ding. All right, gang. Got it. A bunch of sockets. Yeah, no, nothing more to do here. We're collecting sockets nah, like crazy. Sugar intake. I'll dig for the prize inside, but I bet Sleeping Beauty here already fished it out. <laughs> Ace of the test for Roger Wilco is uh, is an interesting development. Well, one little bite wouldn't hurt, and I'm pretty sure Dudley Do Nothing probably wouldn't notice. Now oh, what the hell? I'll take that. Yeah. Gloves are a wonderful thing. Blech. Blech. Hey guys. <laughs> this is the hot new sound taking the internet by storm. Blech. Hey Maurice LaMarche. <laughs> Could you make an awesome sound for us? <laughs> Sorry, okay, I didn't mean to get that last one. Uh, it's the uh, new I oops watch sound. The sugar intake. I'll dig for the prize inside, but I bet Sleeping Beauty are already fishing. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, wait. So, do we take that sock in their inventory or? Gotta go to the south board. Oh, wow, we actually got the prize, huh? Greasy fries. The slipperiest, greasiest fries Ace has ever seen. Unfit for human consumption. Does that sound him puking up for the palate of the universe of Space Quest? Yes. Okay, so what we have here is... Hey, it's one of them battery-powered bench vices I've seen in those hazard freight ads. Man, how lazy do you have to be? Crank handle's missing. It's got to be in this mess somewhere. All right, we have a crank handle now. Socket extension with a thousand and one uses. Socket extension with a thousand and one uses. Okay, maybe just one. All right, let's do this thing. Okay, so this is literally as far as I made into the game. Uh... At this point, I pick up that that was visibly blocking another socket that's hidden right here. Now, that kind of only makes sense if you're viewing this scene from a completely static angle. Like, if Ace literally can't move his head around, opening that wouldn't be necessary to see over it to a socket lying on the bottom of this shelf otherwise. But in the world of this forced perspective, we had to open that up to see through it in order to spot. Got it. I'll take that that socket so hidden objects found and now i'm completely on my own i'm gonna try to save the game oh no wait quit playing space venture no uh let's try to save save <laughs> oh man see you on the chrono stream time jockey Due to the complexity of this area, saving and restoring here will start you at the beginning of this scene. 
Got it. Yeah, just go to the next screen. Okay. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Sorry. I thought that was get out of the menu. All right. Okay, yeah, so now let's see if we can get a proper save. Oh, average goon. Here with a very good redemption. Uh, Andromeda in cosplay. We all love uh, a little bit of uh, Andromeda style around here. Um, so let's see what we can do here. Let me dig around a little bit. <laughs> Mike, yeah, the save system. Whew. Okay, I think we got what we need. Let's make this happen. There we go. Now we're styling and profiling. That's what we're looking for. That's the good content right there. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming that. I can't see a single thing in my chat anymore. <laughs> let, me, let me make my chat bigger. I am blind as a bat. When did that happen? Let's see here. Uh, chat appearance. Make it one size bigger. All right, now we got it. Now we're space entry. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, we got it. Back to the action. Let's see what else there is in this level. We now have a whole bunch of sockets. You know, the great thing about Amazon.com is not only can you score something like this for like $5. Oh, no. They'll be there in like two days. Oh, Grundy, how's Space Adventure so far? Well, it's been working mostly well for the most part. We have a, we've had some weird stuff, but nothing game-breaking so far. I don't think duct tape is going to fix that. I mean, literally, it seems like Taping that duct might be the solution. I don't think duct tape is going to fix that. Usually a few good wax with a big red would do the trick, but not in this case. But how is it so far? I mean, I really like the writing. It feels like the guys from Andromeda that we know and in many cases love. Like, that's a good thing. Is this a ruder situation, maybe? No, even ruder can't get through. Oh my goodness. Well, this is clearly unsolvable. Pull. Hmm. Let's see here. Go back to controlling Ace. Look back into my inventory. Clearly, I don't just. Greasy front. Wait. I can't imagine I'd stick a socket in there. Perhaps turn off the pipe's gas. I like this idea slap. Where does that happen? Is there any kind of valve? One of those things right from the Steam logo? A lot of steam coming from that side corridor. Might explain the abnormally high levels of perspiration in my intergluteal cleft. Pull one pixel valve. It makes sense. Let's look back over here a little bit more. <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you, yeah. Let's see. I may have to lose my disguise here in a minute. At least temporarily. Insert death by steam pun here. <laughs> okay, you really have to ask yourself... Wait. You have to ask yourself, was there supposed to be text inserted there? Oh no! No, Ruther! 
<laughs> That's the will on screen. Okay. Atomic Matter, I don't mind hints. Uh, if anyone wants to give them, I'm not a stickler on, uh, on hints. I like the defibrillator. That's a pretty good gag. Oh, wait, here we go. Here's the thing we need. There's the valve. Kind of just throw a wrench at it. That's what I would do in real life. My pipe wrench is the wrong tool in this case. Okay. Oh, I'll just do it like this. I'll use it like a lasso. What? No? Aw, oh, beans. Hmm. I don't think it's ruder. Yeah, having the revival mechanism for a death is pretty good. Okay, turn off the steam from this side. What's Ruder's thruster do? <laughs> hey, let me. Yeah, Roger could totally duct tape last at this. Ruder doesn't seem to be. A, he does have the extendo nose, though, right? Is that the solution? Doesn't seem to be yet. Is there a way to the other side? I go under yeah. the steam. Apparently, they're, apparently they're just for looks. Apparently, they're just for looks. That's okay. Apparently, I'm just for looks too. You get used to it. Sure. <laughs> You occasionally get, uh, I need better get objectified. Access, to the access panel to access what's behind it. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Let's see. <laughs> Did I just push something that wasn't there? There we go. Nice. Nailed it. It's securely bolted in place. I need a tool for that. All right, I've got the right tool for some job. It's hmm. securely bolted in place. I need a tool for that. Yeah, I like little bits of polish like that, um, Mike. Like the uh, the idea of Ace covering up his face when he gets close to the steam. So he thinks he has everything from the cart. Securely bolted. It's securely bolted in place. I need it. Guess Rooter is technically a tool. The utility of such an item is beyond Rooter's cap. Hmm. Poke around the janitor's cart. Still. Surely molded in place. I need a tool. That's not how sockets work, is it? Hmm. Some of the interactions don't have feedback, even the mop strainer. On the right track with Reuter. Okay, Atomic Matter. Thank you. Let's see here. Turn down the building thermostat. It's a negative 40, so the steam cools off. That checks out. Uh, let's see. So let's go back to Reuter. Maybe that's where our solution lies. Huh. Are there tools inside Reuter? Are there tools inside Reuter? Let's see, Reuter, let's go back to Ace Controls. Okay, Reuter. 
I'm going to need you to go into toolbox mode. And then I'm going to open you up, maybe? Wait, that's not how it works. You give Reuters some of your okay, inventory. That, that's not going to help in this situation. No? Crap. Well, I give myself credit for picking Well, I call. Use the screw bits with Reuter. Good question. I wonder how I put Reuter down at this point. And go into Reuter control. Okay, here we go. That's not. Okay, there we go. Get into robot form. Hmm. Now switch to router. Check your inventory. The button lit up. Oh, okay. The Big red. Hmm. Big, big. Oh wait, he has an inventory. Where is his inventory? Reader toolbox mode, and then he has an inventory. Okay. So do I have to go back to Ace to switch to toolbox mode? Grab Reuter's head, insert bit, use great on head. Really? Oh. Big Red, Ace's trusty pipe wrench with... Def definitely a job for Reuter's power head. I need a socket to fit that... Okay. Okay, how would I combine inventory items? A non step Yeah, combining items is tough. Drag the item to the left. Oh. Okay. Wait. We oh, that did was it. an impressive display of bolt extraction. Drag and drop. Ace. There we go. Okay, we got it. We got it. Let me put Reuter's head back on. Send him through. Here, Reuter. Interesting UI choice. I mean, the two guys created this sort of adventure game engine within Unity on their own. And... I suspect little things like that prove a little more challenging than expected. What's going on when he has the extending nose thanks like, to the amazing versatility of the mechanical marvel known as rooter the robotic wonder mutt <laughs> ace ingeniously overcomes adversity in the form of a ruptured steam pipe i mean there's nothing wrong with uh <laughs> with uh rooter i'm all for rooter team rooter oh hey I'm my up. postulator indicates you're slouching don't be a sloucher dear <laughs> so does that postulator thing tell you if you're talking to an adult? What sadist came up with this app? <laughs> what was that, dear? You'll have to speak up for mommy. I said I'll have to charge a battery soon, ma. Wow. You got Ellen McLean, you gotta use Ellen McLean. I mean, nothing wrong with that.
Oh, wow. We have some... We have some rogue Roombas here? Is that what I'm seeing? Holy overdevelopment. Four Roombot sanitizers to clean one corridor? Sheesh. Something tells me these units are past their warranty expiration date. Hmm. I'm on E deck. Or is that a three? Well, there's the elevator. <laughs> You're exactly right, Robin. Now we have the uh, counterpart to this sound. Hey, Daddy. Gabriel not saying, hey, Daddy. <laughs> Speak up for Mommy is very good. These floor scrubbing robots seem to be a bit frenetic. Mind that with warning indicators, and I'm convinced I want no part. I would charge right through them. Oh man, no death message. Huh. Let's see here. I just throw some french fries on the ground. Oh wait, is this another moving stuff puzzle? Maybe not. Let's see. I can't imagine it's just a walk around them puzzle, is it? Or is it? Oh, it may be. Yeah, Chandra can ride on one of those. What's even the problem? A plumber can't figure that much out? Oh, wow, what am I looking at here? Specimens. I see some movement. These tanks are all protected by outer casings. Yeah, you know, that's an interesting point, JJC. I think that the balance between Ace delivering some of the narration and then the narrator popping in maybe for more significant bits is a kind of cool I balance. See some movement. Science! See some Science! <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Are we getting the full Thomas Dolby effect here? Science! This is delivered in Dolby sound. Science! Science! Hmm. Specimens. In my line of work, that word takes on a whole new meaning. Money. Dollar sign money. I'm guessing this display controls those tanks. Whatever they are, they're multiplying faster than triples in heat on a cellular level. Whatever they are, they're whatever they are, they're multiplying faster than triples. Maybe if I slide that slider. <laughs> This can't be bad. This is fine. We definitely want to do this. Oh no. That one was Lovecraftian. Wait, do I really want to risk cutting my hand and bleeding out right here on the lab floor? No, no I do not. Hmm. Wait, what was that? It looks kind of slimy. Ooh, it looks kind of... Ooh, looks kind of slimy. Whoa! They grow up so fast, don't they? Scary fast. Definitely cuter in the tadpole phase. Ooh, looks kind of slimy. Ooh, looks kind of slimy. Ooh, looks kind of slimy. Looks well, kind of slimy. Look cute. You're kind of cute. As lab experiments go, I guess. Hey, <laughs> cute little specimens. I'm guessing you guys were engineered for the frozen food section at Cosmo. Okay. That looks like something completely useless to me. Looks like a remote control. I don't want that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'll take that. Let's a remote control too. Oh, sweet. Roombots. A Roombot remote control. Oh, wow. Trademark symbol. I feel like that's really uh, infringing on the upcoming Monkey Island release. That's their whole deal. Oh wait, I couldn't see that before, maybe with the things down? Like I raised that just so I could see? Maybe, is that what happened there? I guess it is. Ew. On a sliminess scale, I'd classify it somewhere between Xeno... Okay, can Rooter maybe root through there? Doesn't seem like it, but what could it hurt? Uh, let's see here. 
Just remember how Rooter works. Oh, we don't have Rooter controls out here? Or do we have to turn off all the, uh, all the machines before we can get Rooter back? Let's see, let's save our game. Walk out there, huh? I didn't do that without dying. Hey, Rooter, we're gonna get you over here. Just hang tight, buddy. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? All right, we got them all. Sweet. Yeah, you know, Ricky, I would agree. A little bit of polish would go a long way on this one. I feel like there's a core of some interesting character work and some fun writing so far. But yeah, it just needs a tiny bit of polish. I really hope, if this goes to Steam as planned, that there will be time to implement just a little bit more bug fix, smoothing out things, all that sort of thing. Just because otherwise I'm really kind of worried that steam reviews are going to be fairly savage i think that there's a good chance that steam users are going to be pretty pretty upset yeah i mean the development cycle on this one was just a beast with all kinds of problems a lot of them beyond the control of the two guys i'd like to see this turn out as well as it can at this stage yeah, i don't think anybody's expecting it to bring home game of the year trophies but i would like people to ideally be able to walk away from it with a positive experience and most of all i'd like the two guys and everybody else who worked on it to be able to walk away with a positive experience i mean they're the ones who put in 10 years of work on it you'd like to see them feel like it was worth it when it's all done even if it doesn't sell a million copies or whatever let's see here I feel like I need to get into that drain. That's right, they they shipped a game. That alone. Oh yeah, PCJ, uh, who worked on StairQuest with me. I mean, uh, someone I've known for years uh, through the Space Quest community. Put in a lot of time and labor on this game. Uh, really brought it across the finish line. I mean, there's always the hope that you know Man's Sky it, that it's a better game in a month or a few years than it is now. Is that drain nothing? Am I just obsessing over a drain? Router tool. Root okay. Let's go see if we can explore elsewhere. We'll come back here if the drain really is an important thing. Something that swooshy door just swoosh automatically. Ooh, I do like a good elevator scene though. Uh, let's push a button. Brr. Oh yes, we want to go to where there is cafeteria. Ooh, Soylent smoothies. Couldn't they have made that a proper soda machine? What's on the menu today? Oh, a little too spendy for my tastes. Wow, Soylent smoothies. An icy cold one sounds refreshing right now. In spite of that whole urban legend thing about what it's really made of. <laughs> Soylent clear the last frontier for folks Those like you and me. Those tubes must be the smoothie machine. The tubes, apparently not coming from the kitchen, seem pretty dang cold. I really have no use for a table. You want a table, Rooter? No? I didn't think so. All right. Pumpkin spice Soylent clear. Oh, no. Hey, this is a returning joke from back in the day. A 
Uni Species Relief Station. Wow, look at this shiny turlet. It's a nice looking scene. Oh, hey, I'm up. So you're a plumber. How nice. Always know, dear, it doesn't matter what you pursue in life. I'll <laughs> always be proud of you. If you were at least a ship's captain, though, like that Brannigan boy from down the asteroid belt. Yeah, don't hold back, Mom. I'm sorry, dear. Sometimes your mother gets a little cranky in her old age. You'll forgive me, won't you? I only want what's best for my son. Ever see a microwave oven from the inside? Now, now. If you can't say something <laughs> nice, don't say anything at all. I'll try to remember that. There's a closet now. Bathroom's nicer in my house. I mean, it happens. It just happens sometimes. I was not expecting a Zap Brannigan reference here in the year of our Lord 2022. Why is it I had a bad experience with one of those once. The yes, wipe looks fine, and I don't see it to be in need of reloading. <laughs> Wait, what? The yes, wipe looks fine, and I don't see it to be in need of reloading. Maybe that's another good sound to have on stock. <laughs> there may be lots of opportunities for good soundboard clips in this uh, in this game, huh? The yes, wipe looks fine, and I don't see it to be in need of reloading. Yeah, I may have to put that on the soundboard. That's very good. No, I don't think that interface is compatible with my, uh... Whoa. Terrifying. That's like the crazy blast doors in Star Wars that just are like... <laughs> they look like they would absolutely just chop off limbs left and right. Like... Ooh, don't you hate when you clip through the toilet seat? Bad way to spend your day. I don't see any obvious other hot spots here. The asswipe looks fine, and I don't see it to be in need of reloading. Look, the asswipe looks fine. I don't know how many times I need to tell you. The asswipe is fine. As we pay. By the way, if you're joining us for the first time tonight, first of all, welcome. I'm Jess, Decap Jedi, uh, retro adventure streaming guy. If you're enjoying the stream, uh, or even if you aren't, you just want to hate follow, please follow. We'd love to have you on the crew. The stalls are a tight fit. Like, I don't know if I'd be uh, comfortable uh, doing my business in one of those. Nobody home. This pod launch tube's empty. Oh, there was a different looking... Ooh, we'll go back and look. Thank you, Ricky. Do we have some weird toilet paper? Hate follows are the best, yeah. You know what really gets, you know, what really makes me mad, though? There's nothing that makes me more angry than hate subs. Like, when someone hates me so much, they're willing to pay a small fee per month just to let me know how much they dislike me. So, all you haters out there, if you really want to grind my gears... Sub, gift sub, multi-month sub, tier two, tier three sub. Oh man, that's gonna get me hot. I mean, not hot. It's gonna be hot. No, not hot and bothered. That's gonna get me like uh, <laughs> eight subs or next to eight dogs. <laughs> Let's see. So we had. <laughs> Thank you, JJC. Hot-headed. There you Ash go. Wipe looks fine, and I don't see it to be in need of reloading. I don't know. Is there a weird-looking toilet paper? Yes, wipe looks fine, and I don't see it to be in need of reloading. Is it Happy Mothman Day? Was this the Mothman Festival this weekend? Yes, wipe looks fine, and I don't see it to be in need of reloading. Oh man, I've been to the Mothman Festival in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, once, and it was the year that Fallout '76 came out, and Bethesda had a giant booth at the Mothman Festival, and they had like someone walking around in power armor. They had, uh, like, full, like, atomic-style robots seen around. It was amazing. <laughs> That's all right, Slat. Not everybody can hate, can hate, follow, and subscribe. Uh, let's see. The ass-wipe looks... 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 
<laughs> Sorry. It's just a good line. The yeah, swipe looks fine, and I don't see it to be. Uh, I don't know if there's anything I can do here right now, is my growing impression. No idea it was Mothman Day. We actually had a really sad day here today. Uh, Longtime viewers know that uh, earlier in the year, we got a pair of guinea pigs, Oreo and Truffle, and uh, our guinea pig Oreo uh, passed away today. We w got up and uh, he uh, was mysteriously uh, deceased in his cage. And uh, needless to say, my daughter was pretty crushed by the experience. So we had uh, a celebration of Oreo's life uh, tonight where we all came together we got four different flavors of Oreo cookies at the store, uh, put them out on a little plate, and uh, we all talked about our favorite mem memories of Oreo while taste testing different Oreos. But it was uh, it was a rough day. Feels it was sad. My daughter, sadly, is a lot like me, which it's like Oreo dying triggers the fear that her dog Finn could die someday. Which then triggers the fear that one of her parents could die someday. Which then triggers the final fear that she could die one day. So it's like this whole like mortality crisis that unfolds there. <laughs> Y'all don't want to hear about all that. More talk. Less gameplay. It's Decaf Jedi. De Decaf Jedi. Okay, so now we're fixing the pod door. Get Oreo. Double stuffed Oreo. Oh no. Patch is on the fritz. That explains why this is the only escape pod left on the entire ship. <laughs> They're paying taxes and debts. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it was rough. I hate that uh, it was a rough way to start the day. She got up to go feed them like she always does first thing in the morning. And... Uh, yeah, just mysteriously in the night, uh, Oreo was gone. My wife is a veterinarian, but honestly, like, autopsying a guinea pig is uh, no easy task. By the end of the day, she was doing really well. She is incredibly resilient. She's way tougher than I am. Ooh, oh no. Oh, this has the look of a puzzle. This has the definite look of a puzzle. Oh no, no, not really, is it? Oh no. <laughs> so let's see here. That's gonna require a tool and some elbow grease. Reach, you say? Oh. Wait. Will this work? Greasy fries. 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 Okay, sorry. Fries. Sorry, I can't quit. The slipperiest, greasiest fries Ace has ever seen. Unfit for human consumption. <laughs> it is hard to believe. I can't believe how old I am either, JJC. Huh. I feel like maybe I don't need to grease them up. Maybe that was literally just like metaphorically speaking of elbow grease. Maybe I just put the uh, fries on the. <laughs> Ooh. Say hello to my not so little friend. Okay, what's my objective oh, here? Our only ticket out of here now is to purge that critter from these pipes. Okay. Val? Big red. Valve, meet big red. 
<laughs> you know, Nick, I don't know what it was about. It looks like a television news crew. Big Red. <laughs> and Gabriel Knight, too, that struck Mouth me as funny. Big Red. There's just something strangely rhythmic about it. Wait. What does do? Okay, so the water... is flowing. Oops, one to me, I wanted to go there. It's too crazy ASMR. It's what we do best around here. Alright, if y'all are just joining us, welcome to Space Venture. It's coming along swimmingly. Okay, so I think I need to take that one more. Big red. And then this one needs to come that way. Alright. Okay. I guess it went up that way. Okay. Okay. Maybe for now that's all we need to do down here. Okay. Let's see here. Wait, they use still use my ranch. I can figure this out. I see a janitor do this. You gotta have a plumber for these kind of puzzles. Wait, isn't it going this way? Oh, wait. Maybe I need to change this. And then over here. And then over here. Okay. 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 Hey, Roger simply does not have the upper body strength for a puzzle like this. That much is certain. Okay, let's see here. Did I solve something? Did I do it? What happened? Oh, that's, that's mean I took care of the... What, what just happened? Corona Travis, I can't believe this game is out either. How wild is that? Okay, so something lit up. Yeah, Monkey Island on Monday. I kind of feel a little bad for Space Venture in the sense that releasing so close to Monkey Island, I feel like it's going to make life a little tough. This one only turns at wrong angles. What does that mean? I can't quite visually piece together what I want to do here. So where's the water come up now? Because boom, 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 boom. Come on, Ace. Now I'll just end up with one of those big. Okay.
Huh. What am I doing now? Had to bang on the pot. Oh. Oh, so I'm supposed to be chasing it through. Thank you, Atomic Matter. <laughs> okay, I definitely would not have gotten that on my own. Where am I trying to send him to? Oh, just the path dream. That's exactly right. Slurp. Okay. So for now, he's stuck there. That's right. Oops. Yeah, let's get rid of this thing. Come on. If anybody sees what I'm doing wrong here, feel free to tell me. Ah. Uh, flip the bell. Hey, Ryan. The end of the pipe is closed. Okay. Thank you for the hint. Let's see. Another one of those indicators behind the glass. Okay, I see it there now. What does that actually indicate? Yes, the water's flowing back into the recycling system. Now it hurts squiddly through that pipe and out of the cooling system once and for all. Let's see here. So I need to twist one of the valves so it's vertical. Oh, wait, here we go. Employing all his plumbing. Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. That was rough. Okay, what did I accomplish by doing that? <laughs> Smack that pot. There we go. I have no idea what that was supposed to be. Oh, Ace has a run. Oh, look out, world. This janitorial dynamo is out to conquer. Let's see. So what does the coolant do for us? Uh oh, water's overflowing from somewhere above. That dang creature again, I bet. I don't want to catch blame for this. I better try and fix it. Okay, memo to who might be listening. <laughs> Artificial gravity on a shipboard elevator? Stupid idea. I wish we got the little pop-ups for the new objectives on screen a little longer. The way this baby's shuddering, I'd say we only have a minute before it gives way. Uh-oh. Don't like the sound of that.
Got it. Okay. Yikes. The elevator's getting too heavy. We gotta get out of hey, here. Hey, Gubarella. Yeah, there they are. Escape the... Well, here we go. Escape the broken elevator. Okay. Nope, can't reach it. Okay, switch to router maybe? Can't switch to router. Okay, what do we have in our inventory? Tape? Just duct tape this problem. That's gotta be it. Good to see you, Gubarella. Okay. Uh. Well, it's not a problem duct tape can fix. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Ooh, let's see. Can we take off Reuter's head? Is that the solution? Blow your body on therapy. That's always the answer. You open the control panel. The way this, the way this baby's shuddering, I'd say we only have a minute before it gives... Just clicking everywhere. Okay, that is not the solution. At least I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, it feels like a duct tape situation, doesn't it? How would you not want to duct tape something in this leaky scenario? The good news is we seem to have more than a minute. I can't replace Reuter's head. That's a real shame. Yeah, it feels like opening up the control panel would be reasonable, but the game does not seem to well let me. And there aren't a lot of hints going on. I should have packed my x-ray goggles. Oh well. In one shaft, you've seen them all. It's straining under the weight of all the water coming in. Good thing I'm wearing my... Time to get out of here. Where's all this water coming from? That's Where's a great question. Where's all this water coming from? Where's all this water coming from? Where's all this water coming from? Oh, Reuter can give you a leg up. Oh. With his boost? Oh, wait. Here we go. That's going to require a power tool with the correct... Root. Definitely a job for Reuter's power head. Okay. I socket. I wonder what socket we're dealing with here. Socket doesn't match. Ah. Oh, wait, I don't think I detached it, did I? Ah, socket. Ah, socket doesn't match. The socket doesn't match the bolt pattern. I can see me, baby. There it is. I tried this one already. Socket doesn't fit. Man, I wish I could get my. <laughs> A non I remember which ones I've tried. Oh, do we just do it? Do we solve a puzzle? Wait. Whoa, that didn't look right, did it? Hmm. <laughs> that did not feel like how that was supposed to go. <laughs> oh well. Wait, really? Uh -oh. Water's overflowing from somewhere above. That Boy, dad, dad. Again, I bet. <sighs> I don't want to catch blame for this. I better try and fix it. I guess I died. Who might be listening? Artificial gravity on a shipboard elevator? 
Stupid idea. <laughs> well, gang, I guess that was a death, technically. <laughs> yeah, I think the room just reset. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. See if it works this time. Yahtzee. Yahtzee. Something else that was more relevant in 2012. Do I need to rescue Root or anything? An AccuBeam Model 013 motion switch. Wasn't there a big recall on those a while back? There we go. Nailed it. Okay. Can't do Rooter control right now. Can I just walk out? I'm sure I can't leave Rooter down there. Can't leave Rooter down there to short circuit. Hang in there, buddy. I got you. Can I not do Rooter's Booster or control router right now? Do I need to clear Rooter's hang in there? Rooter's head down the <laughs> down the shaft to him? Is that a thing? Here you go, Rooter, here's your Hang in there, buddy. I got you. Oh sweet. We did it. Look at that puzzle solving. We did it. Oh man, this is intense stuff. Alright, we're making good progress. So far, I feel like. And the game, you know, is has some weird little bits that aren't quite working as designed, but it's mostly here. <laughs> Slew those dancing blues brothers. Yes. I guess this still doesn't work, does it? Or does it? What's that burning smell? Uh, you're probably just having a stroke. Oh, for the love of... You gotta be kidding me. Okay, come on, Ace. You can fix this. Oh no, we used up all of our, uh, all of our duct tape. Pound it out. That's what I always say. When in doubt, pound it out. When in doubt, pound it out. <laughs> That's it. In your window! Let's try it one more time. When in doubt, pound it out. All right. Um, yeah, no more duct tape seems like a kind of hopeless situation. Is this another. Use my dog's head situation. No, it doesn't seem to be. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> Big great audience. Found it out. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Uh, um, let's see here. Goodness gracious. Well, of course, that's not going to work. Oh, be quiet, Ace. Uh, -doo -doo -boo, -doo -boo -doo -boo. Guess I should give Rooter his head back. It kind of upsets me when he's just running around like that. Okay, here we go. What are my objectives right now? Fix the pod door. And back to the ship. So, I wonder how I fix the pod door. 
Really? This is one of those complicated scenes? Trum, trum. There's gotta be a door opener thingy here somewhere. A door opener thingy. It does seem like there would be. When in doubt, pound it out. Open pod day door, Hal. I can't do that, Ace. Okay. What do we think? What's our solution? Maybe it's voice activated. Really, I don't want to taste or talk to it. Mom's still updating. Day says be on AT and T. Checks out. So, Ruder, can you do anything? No, it won't let me have Ruder control. Okay. I mean, we haven't figured out anything in the toilet yet. Oh. Well, this is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, there you are, you little... Okay, not so little. Turtomorph. Turtomorph. The extract. The Turtomorph. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in for it now. Oh, by the way, uh... What? <laughs> My ass wipe hot spot is gone? Come on. Let him play, ref. Just beat that Turtomorph to death. Why can't I get Ruder control when I want it? Do I have an objective to deal with this Turtomorph right now? It's not explicitly stated, but it could be. Huh. The leak at the top of the ship, uh, list is still active. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, it looks like, I guess it's a floor up, maybe? Is that what we're supposed to assume? Oh, yeah, elevator's on the fritz. Oh. Time to make it back to my ship. I guess the good news is we are going back up. There's gotta be a door opener thingy here somewhere. Is there, though? As tempting as that might be. Huh. Now nah, it's the bathroom. That makes the most sense. So, fix the leak. Hmm. Right now I'm having trouble getting any hotspot to activate in here. Which probably wonders, it's like, is it bugged or am I just not doing things right? I mean, I assume I'm probably just not doing things right. But at the same time, I don't really have the inventory items I feel like I would need. Time to use rotor for a special gift. I mean, it could be. Let's see here. I'm going to get a screenshot or two, because this will be a great thumbnail. Um, okay, Ruder, it's time to go. I'm going to tell you to get in the toolbox form. Nope, not working. So, Ruder controls aren't working, and I can't tell Ruder to get into... Toolbox form. Which means I can't really use him for anything. Unless I guess I take his head again. Yeah, that's the move. No, it won't let me take his head. Am I soft locked here? Is this bugged out? If I can no longer take Ruder's head? Is Oh, wait, is there more to this room? Is a great question to ask. Uh... 
I feel like since I'm not getting any hot spots in here, there's a chance that the room may be maybe buggy. Rooter's little booster is pretty great. Hey, Cylon by the sea. Good to see you. Try to stay next to Rooter and gain his head. Can I do it out here, maybe? Good to see you. Welcome in. Everyone, uh, be sure to drop a follow. Uh, let me give a shout out here for Cylon by the Sea. Another adventure game streamer. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Been playing Mass Effect recently. Fun. Now his head returns if you change rooms. <laughs> well, now it, like, phew. Okay, Rooter, come here. Okay, there we go. We got Rooter's head. Ooh, man, that is finicky. Seems a little bit like a problem. Get my hands on you! <laughs> Alright, I'm tired of playing Game of Thrones with this thing. Okay, I like that joke. That's pretty good. Hmm, I'm sensing a cat in here. Oh no, I'm not. Hmm, I'm sensing a cat in here. Okay, so that one goes to there. Okay, let me just look at this pattern a little bit more. Hmm, I'm sensing a pattern. So one, two, one, four. Hmm, I'm sensing a pattern. Are you though? Hmm, I'm sensing a pattern. I'm not. Hmm, I'm sensing a pattern. He seems to be sensing a pattern. Hmm, I'm sensing a pattern here. Hmm, I'm sensing a pattern. Okay. Aha! <laughs> Good way to save on some animations. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay. Could this oh, no. spell the end for our intrepid life support specialist, or will his trusted and faithful companion, Rooter the Wonder Dog, once again leap into the breach and snatch his beloved master from the coils of death? Hmm. Let me think on that a moment. Okay. Good job, Rooter. You're a hero. Aw. How great is Fruiter? Uh-oh. Ooh. Scummy. Okay. I love Fruiter too, Robin. I am here for Fruiter. That doesn't appear... Oh, I thrust her, right? That's what I need to do here. Oh, it's like a Space Quest 2, maybe? We got a Space Quest 2 situation here? Okay, not now. Rooting for Rooter. Yeah, baby, yeah! I'm here for it. <laughs> I see a Willie Beamish. You also haven't played Willie Beamish. Oh, no. Help! Glug, glug. 
Shoot me a line. Come on, Ruder, you got it. Straining every last servo, Ruder struggles to pull Ace free from the tentacled Turtomorph's grip. He Turtomorph is good. Power. Oh wait, maybe a uh, booster. Not booster. It is a very tentacly day, huh? Need more power, huh? How can I get that though? Let's see. I feel like it's booster or thruster. Oh, <laughs> Salon, very good emote game. Huh. Well, ding dang it. Oh wait, was that? Oh, that's not great. Got <laughs> kind of broken there. Um, uh, let's see here. Thruster toward one of the pops. Interesting. Huge of true. Ah. Music here is great. Ah. Thankfully, Ace can hold his breath as long as Guybrush 3 foot. It's very true, Ryan. Otherwise, we'd be in a really tough spot right now. Is that a walkway? Is it a walkway? A walkway where? A whereway walkway. A whole walkway. Oh no. Tab down my game. Bad sign. That's seldom the solution to a puzzle. Okay, I clicked over there and lost my cursor. Okay, it's back now. Huh. I can't quite figure out what the game wants me to do here. I'll take a full-on hint if anybody's got it. Try standing elsewhere. Right now, it doesn't seem to be letting me move at all. Oh, zap, zap, huh? Oh. There we go. Thank you. From the depths of Hades, that little mechanical marvel known simply as Rooter now gazes upon the lifeless body of his <laughs> beloved master with great sadness. Farewell, good friend. You fought bravely. Hey, wait a minute. He's my only ticket out of this dump. Wake up, Ace. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see maybe... Oh, no. He's too wet to defib. Ah, uh, can't we just yell clear? All right. Unfortunately, Rooter's diff. Unfortunately, Rooter's. Unfortunately, Rooter. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Rooter's defibrillator app. Unfortunately, I will just thrust him. Thrust him, boy. Thrust him. Unconscious, Ace appears to be breathing. Well, he's fine. He's fine. Come on. Let's see if there's something else over here. Oh, no. Uh oh. That seems bad. Wait, or does it? Weird. Ruder, what happened? You're, you're all over the place. All right, 
squid boy, you're going down. Don't worry, little buddy. We'll fix you. Just gotta get you all gathered up here and then, and then get you back home, okay? Oh no, Ace. Not like this. You can't leave Rudy's head slash multi-purpose power tool behind. I'm Bob. Yachts. I'll use it to store Rooter's parts for the trip home. Okay. Can I actually reassemble Rooter? Maybe Easy. not yet. Sure, I could use the cardio. Oh yeah, feeling the burn. <laughs> Okay, I need to lay off the Twinkies. I think I prefer teletubes to ladders. Yeah, I really do find this pretty charming so far. I wish that it worked a little more consistently, a little bit more hinting on some of the Normally interface I'd stuff. Have the digits all over the controls, but I don't want to risk messing up this contraption. Contraption. But you know, there's no, some charming bits yeah, of this. It's not. Point. It's not the disaster I think that. Some have wanted to suggest in terms of being a game. In terms of polish, yeah, it needs more. Clearly, no question. Yeah, not tangled with that again. Usually, a few good whacks with the big red do the trick, but not in this. Let's go up now. Is he done? Clearly not. What is my current goal? It's a mystery. It is one big blob of text all overwritten, everything else. Again, that's the sort of thing that seems fixable with a patch. Normally I'd have my digits all over the controls, but I don't get a big guy, your jackass stunt days are long behind. <laughs> jackass stunt days. How are you gonna swing across? Normally I'd have my digits off. Normally I gotta get past that slimy appendage and figure out. So how do you think he's swinging across? There seems to be a hot spot here that he thinks swings. Is it just jumping onto that? Yeah. Can't really walk right now, which is unfortunate. Oh, I can't walk while it's animating. Or am I just stuck for the moment? Normally I'd have my dick. Yeah. Yeah. Normal 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 normally normal 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 Yeah. Ah. Do I need to use this to swing with? I'm thinking the pipe wrench is the wrong tool in this case. Rooter head? Oh yeah, I can shoot a line. Aha! We did it. We did it. What a maneuver. Rooter to Okay, that didn't work. Tempting is that one. Usually a few good whacks. I'm thinking violence isn't the answer here. Oh, violence is generally the answer. That's not gonna oh crap. Well, I can make a lot. That oh a lot. There we go. We duck creature into the blender. We did it, gang. We did it. Oh no! Oh, I loved Shuma Garoth in Marvel vs. Capcom. I hate to see him go. Nope. Yeah. Sounds like 
I need to get back up there. Can't get the switch with work a while blocking my path. Thank you. Do it. Um, Having successfully right. retrieved Ruder's remaining broken component, a glimmer of hope exists that Ace can one day. Ah, uh, so I didn't do it in time, eh? <laughs> That's all that matters. That does have very uh, college apartment vibes, huh? Am I just not being fast enough here? Is that all that's going on? Reach the switch from here. What? That's not gonna help with it. Oh, well, of course, that's not gonna work. Okay, I wonder if I should just wait it out this round. What the brooder do? What the brooder do? Brooder do! There's an order to the switches. Oh. order. Okay, so we'll go middle, right, left. Boy, that beeping sound is rough, isn't it? That is at an unpleasant pitch. WWRD. What would Reader do? We'll try middle, right, left. Middle, left, right. I know I said it the other way around. What would Cedric do? Oh no, Grim! The poisonous cuckoo monster! Okay, gang, what am I doing wrong? I'm guessing it's something incredibly obvious. Maybe it's time based. That's why I'm wondering. So, was anybody around for Trolls' stream uh, earlier tonight? And if so, uh, how do you like the game? I know he's had access to it through a lot of the development, so probably not much of it was a huge surprise to him. But was anybody there hanging out with the Space Quest Dysphoria? Beeping though. Oh, the beeping. It's just brutal. Seem pretty happy with it? That's good. Uh oh. Wrong way, Ace. <laughs> Nailed it. doing the right order here and just not doing it quickly enough or do I have the wrong order I guess well, I'm starting to wonder what the brooder do oh my gosh wow oh no wait how do I pause this game I don't want to quit goodness gracious welcome in Raiders good to see you 
Howdy, howdy, howdy. Let me give a shout out here. Thank you so much, Human Interact, for the raid. Let me, uh, let me shout you out. There we go. How are you doing, Raiders? Welcome, man. I'm Decap Jedi. Jess, we are playing Space Venture tonight. The two guys from Andromeda game, 10 years in the making. Thank you so much for the raid. Hope everybody's doing well. How are y'all now? Hey, Chris Fratz. Hey, everybody. What were you playing tonight in retro? And how'd the stream go? Again, I'm Jess. For all you who are dropping in for the first time, I like to stream retro point and click adventure games. Huge fan of Space Quest and really excited to get a chance to finally play around with Space Adventure tonight. So glad you could join me. Thank you again for dropping in. I am stuck on a puzzle. Maybe time and order. Maybe the icon will give you a clue. Yeah, I can... Trying to throw a Lovecraftian space horror into a blender. This baby must pull down some gigawatts. It takes three switches to reach maximum RPM. Oh. The blender this size requires a stepped approach to reach full RPM. Hence the small, medium, and large blender. There must be a proper startup sequence to reach full RPMs. So I bet that's three, then, is what it's trying to tell me? Go away. I got puzzled, so I've been saying about Day of the Tentacle for years now. I just finished playing Day of the Tentacle on Wednesday. Oh, wait, I, I just clipped through. Maybe that's the solution. Oh, I think I almost had it with the cheat. Hey, Sonnabelle, good to see you. It's definitely order and time based. I think you only can figure out the order by trial and error. Okay. Oh well. <laughs> Come on, Ace, get it together. <laughs> Nailed it. Just doing top notch work here now. Serious, man. Don't, don't need. Ah, why didn't you click that face? Oh my gosh. I'm going to peek at the walkthrough and just make sure I have the right order. Last thing I want to do is spend all this time trying to get timing on the wrong order. Let's see here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, <laughs> galley scene. Wait, where am I? The hand, hand icon far right, middle, then far left. <laughs> so I have been doing it in the wrong order according to the walkthrough. Okay, let's do this thing. Far right, middle, then left. This area is kind of sparse. Don't need it. This area is. Oh, yeah, I didn't turn on the switch up top, did I? Doy. Come on, Ace. You can tell it's getting back close to my bedtime. Play is getting real sloppy in here. Raiders, you can. <laughs> Have we broken the game yet? You know. It's not as broken as I would have expected. We're getting weird little glitches here and there. Hey, Thracknor. It is honestly more charming than I anticipated. It is a buggy mess in some ways, but so far playable. And yeah, I mean, I'm actually liking the gags so far. Yes. Uh-oh.
Without even having to crack open an operations manual, Ace calls upon his <laughs> Wikipedic knowledge of industrial Wikipedia. size appliances to deduce the proper mixer startup procedure. Or was it just trial and error? The soilient point here, Turtle Morph, is now a delicious liquid protein drink. Well, good for you, Turtle Morph. Get off the ship, pronto. <laughs> yeah, you know, Thragnor, like, you compare this to, like... This is not a drill. I don't know. The Ace Ventura game. ...directly to the nearest muster station for emergency escape vehicle boarding. No, really. Drop whatever you're doing and run. Do not walk to the nearest escape vehicle station. Repeat. This is not a drill. Rooter. No, I find it really charming. Like I said, you know, you take some of those, like, capstone games, like Beverly Hillbillies or Wayne's World, and those are just, like, there's very little to love about those games. I guess I need to go up that ladder over there rather than come back over here, didn't I? Uh, um, there's not much to love about those games. Sure. There's some definite charming over. stuff here that... With a little bit of polish, again, I hope that they're able, before this goes on Steam, to put in just a little bit more of that work. I think you can come away with it, with a perfectly fine game. I think there's a lot for people who enjoy the Space Quest series to really enjoy about this. Wake up, Ace. Time to adventure. Uh oh, that's a really long, long pause. I'll take that. Okay. There's gotta be a door opener thingy. Is the oh, elevator yeah. working oh, now? Yeah, elevator's on the fritz. No time to make it back to my. Sh okay. <laughs> the soil and choke alone <laughs> brings it well above a lot of the bad games. I mean, that's true. I mean, that's the thing. You know, there are bad games that don't work and really have very few redeeming qualities. There are definitely some great bits at play here. I feel like the writing, for me, is the strongest part. Like, I definitely feel a lot of, like, the trademark Scott Murphy acidic sense of humor uh, going on here. And I appreciate that. Gotta be a door opener thingy here somewhere. Okay, yeah, we still don't know how well, to do well, that this. Just figures based on how my day's gone so far. What can we do with this situation? I feel like just having picked up the smoothie. Oh wait. Oh no. Ah, oh, we missed our we missed our death message? I'm gonna try it again, because now I really want to hear what the death message was. Like little bugs like that have to be something you can iron out, right? <laughs> oh no! Ah, the chilling sensation of a fatal sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia. Just Google it, would you? <laughs> that's not bad. It has been a rough ten years. I mean, everything that's gone on behind the scenes, going all the way back to the Kickstarter, has made this journey more difficult than it needed to be. For the smoothie down the grating. Interesting. Maybe not in here. Huh? That's not gonna help. Oh, crap. Well, I get. Pull that motor. 
Oh, I tried to open the door. There's a visual. Oh, yeah. It did say it was really hot in there. So let's go back to the... Let's get it ice. Warning. So pour some smoothie down the grating. Well, I... Okay, that didn't work. That's not going to help in this situation. No? Well, of course, that's not going to work. One last router puzzle. Okay. Definitely a job for Reuter's powerhead. Definitely ah, a job for Reuter's powerhead. There we go. Definitely okay. A job for Reuter's powerhead. But I need a socket to. There we go. Let's see. Let's see if that happens to be the right one. Wrong socket. No, it doesn't. Okay, let's try the circle socket. Oh, we gotta separate them first. A non-standard circle socket. Wrong socket. This socket. Okay, here we go. Got it. Perfect. Well, looky there. <laughs> the frosty cold smoothie fits perfectly into the heatsink, as if they were tailor made for each other. Random coincidence or intelligent design? That's pretty good. I like that solution. <laughs> Sweet. In a stroke of sheer brilliance, Ace uses the icy cold Soylent smoothie to cool down the overheated pod door transducer thingy. I'll totally take that solution. That's not bad. Did we do it? Did we escape? This might be a good, uh, good screenshot. Better grab that while I can. <laughs> then I used to stand here awkwardly for a little while. Okay. That's buckling. Oh, no. Use harm rest grab point right. No. I don't want to use harm rest grab point right. Oh. Oh, there's use arm rest grab point left. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, skate pod. What's the hold up? Punch it. Your attention, please. On behalf of Nostradamus Research, a subsidiary of Centauri Corporation, <laughs> welcome aboard our Mark 13 class escape capsule. Mark Crow 13. At this time, all passengers should be seated with safety harnesses secured in the down position, seat backs upright, with tray tables safely stowed away. There are no tray tables, and these cheap seats don't even recline. <laughs> Before we depart, it's important that we take a few moments to go over some of the safety features of this spacecraft. This information can help you in case of an emergency, so it's important to pay close attention, even if you are a frequent fleer. That's a good line. Frequent fleer. Come on there, escape pod. Let's do some uh, escaping. All carry-on items should be securely stowed <laughs> in bins located under each seat. I'm more of a pockets Ooh. kind of guy. Now is a good time to activate all those electronic devices to notify any loved ones that you're in certain peril and in need of rescue. Hmm. Might not be a bad idea to send Scraps a message. In the unlikely event of a liquidus landing, your seat cushion can be used as a flotation device, or more likely, as a method for filtering toxic gases. Yeah, I'm a here for the writing of this. This is a non-smoking escape, and that intergalactic law prohibits tampering with smoke detectors or air filtration devices. <laughs> if you are seated in an emergency exit row, please confirm that you are capable of carrying out the responsibilities for emergency exit seating. Sir, are you capable and willing to carrying out the responsibilities for emergency exit seating? Yeah, isn't this whole escape pod kind of for emergency <laughs> exits? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Once again, on behalf of all the onboard automated systems, we thank you for flying with us today. We know you had other options for escaping, and we appreciate you choosing Pod 13. We invite you now to sit back, relax, and enjoy your escape.
That's a good gag. I dig that gag. Wow, we escaped. We did it. <laughs> That's the special edition explosion. That's an earth-shattering kaboom, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, hi there, boss. Funny thing, I was just punching in your number. Listen, about this Nostradamus job by... My van? Okay, well, here's the thing. See, about the van, uh... I don't exactly have a... Hey, Stan, good to see you. Okay, now, uh, hold on. I mean, even I have to abort sometimes. You know, it's not like I had a choice. I've never heard that. <laughs> what do you mean, Doc, my pay? Over my dead body, I should have been getting hazard pay for this job. Say again? Uh, you're breaking up. And I mean it this time. Well, maybe I fire you first. How about that? I'm firing you as my boss. <laughs> Oh, that's a good point. I hope Rock Turn made it out too. To float about the cabin. Oh wow. Please remain seated as we are about to experience severe shockwave turbulence. <laughs> Ugh, I don't feel so good. Oh no. No. Oh no. Oh no. Zero G bar. Oh no. I gotta get my glasses off. And put my real glasses on. I don't see what's happening. What was my new goal? Uh let's see. Replace filter. I'm feeling too sick to do any manual labor right now. Pure space sickness, okay. Sounds simple enough. With a wrench, maybe? Huh. Can't reach it. Hmm. Filter gases. A mixed company? Let's see. Change CO2 filter. Where is the filter? Seems like it'd be nope, up there. Can't reach it. Nope, can't reach it. Nope, nope. You can, can too. Reach. You can too. I didn't listen. Oh no, Salon. Place your furnace filter. Ah, that's just, uh, that's just propaganda, Mark. Your seat cushion can be used to filter toxic gases. Okay. Why not? Okay, here we go. Ooh. Yahtzee. Yahtzee. I'll me? take that. Literally. Got it. All right, we cured our space sickness. Oh, I just hope we don't get space madness. <laughs> yes, Al, I, I didn't listen entirely. Nope, can't reach it. Okay, now to replace a filter. Nope, can't reach it. Ooh. 
the more extra recipe, I mean, that's fair. That's more than fair. Okay, so where is another filter? Get in there, right up. Uh, let's see here. Oh, what's this? What's all I'm this, fine. then? Inconveniently non-standard CO2 filtration. Inconveniently non-standard CO2 filtration cartridge. First thing with the reader is it's an Australian. It's a bit of an unfortunate name. Yeah, I mean, I can kind of guess maybe what it might hit at. <laughs> By applying a good amount of force, Ace <laughs> proudly proves to all that contrary to the course textbooks, one can make a square peg fit into a round hole. We did it. Plug filter gaps. Just cram some rooter arms in there. Let's see. Yes! Wait, did I get it? Doesn't seem to think I got it. What are you yachting about now? I'll take that. Okay, what was that? It looked like a sport. A a sport. Okay, why not? I like forcing the filter. That's pretty good. Hey, human interact. Ah, oh, you've been watching it over with Space Quest Historian. How was that? Yeah, I've been enjoying it quite a bit. There, It needs some work with bugs and things like that, but I've had a lot of fun so far with the story and with, uh, with Ace and Rooter. Um, I'm hoping people give this one a fair shake. I don't exactly know what I'm trying to do on that. Seems unlikely to work. <laughs> that sound effect is PCJ CPAP machine. That's amazing. Clearly the CO2 level isn't that critical because I've been working on this for like 10 minutes. But thanks again for the rain, Human Interact. I appreciate it. It definitely feels like a game so far that only the two guys from Andromeda could make. And I really like that about it. Like, that is a huge plus for me. An escape. No, same here. You know, I grew up uh, playing Sierra games. They were always my go-to. Okay. <laughs> what am I missing here? This isn't supposed to be hard, I feel like. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. I just peeked at the walkthrough like a big old cheater. I don't think I would have ever finished, figured this out, so this is good. Okay, seat cushion, there you go. Can I actually hit it? <laughs> Sierra Master, because Space Quest Historian hates King's Quest. Yeah, you know, yeah, King's Quest 2 is absolutely my starting point. And then very soon after that, fell in love with Space Quest. Definitely a huge part of my childhood. I'm surprised, honestly, after Space Quest Historian went through and played all the King's Quest games. I really thought they might win him over, but clearly his distaste for fantasy is stronger than I ever imagined. Like, I'd love to see him really give Quest for Glory a try, but I have a feeling that's not going to go real great either. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to grab the armrest. That makes sense. 
I don't like these quests, but I don't hate it. Okay, here we go. This is fine. I don't think I would have ever figured out this puzzle on my own, though, I have to admit. Quests are glorious, fantastic. Oh, wow. WIW.org site was one of the first web addresses you memorized. That's fantastic. You know, that website has meant so much to me. So many friends. I mean, Space Quest historian among them. Right, first among them. Really the first online fan I ever made. All the way back in 1995, if you can imagine. Um, yeah, it's, it's really been... I mean, I hate to use a word like blessing. Because I feel like it's a corny word to use sometimes, but... It's really been a, uh, a blessing in my life. Plugging <laughs> a lot the gaps of around the square filter with a non porous closed cell seat cushion foam, Ace restores the air scrubber to operational status. Brilliant! All right, we did it. We solved all the puzzles in the game. Oh, Rooter. Poor, poor Rooter. I'm so gonna get it. Scraps is gonna kill me. <laughs> Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ace. This is your father, Ace. Ruder. Ruder, you're alive! Sort of. But how? You will build a new ship. Then, you will travel to see the two guys from Andromeda. Which two? There are a lot of guys in Andromeda. <laughs> there, you will embark on an epic adventure to save the galaxy from a sinister force. Hey, uh, I'll let you finish, little buddy, but, uh, two guys from Andromeda? You mean, THE two guys? The guys responsible for making Cluck Yeager? One of the greatest arcade games of all time? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's gonna happen. And, uh, by the way there, Rooter, did you start talking, like, recently or something? That's, uh, kind of crazy, don't you think? Ace, is that you? Well, tarnation, boy, how the heck did you end up way out here? Way out here. Scraps, is that you? Hey, uh, Scraps, you're, you're coming out of Rooter's mouth, you know that, right? <laughs> oh, this is great. For good, buddy. Don't you worry. I got your back, as usual. Oh, this is fantastic. Eyes, you know that? What you just happen by and think, oh, maybe I'll rescue Ace while I'm out here. Nah, I came trolling for salvage after hearing about the explosion <laughs> on the scanner. Lucky for you, I installed a homing beacon into Rooter on his last upgrade. I just happened to pick up the signal passing by. How's my little mud anyway? <laughs> hey, Rooter. Hey, boy. Oh, yeah. Well, he's been a little, uh, scattered lately. <laughs> Probably bouncing off the walls, ready to get out of that tin can, I'm gonna bet you. Okay, yeah, something like that. Right. Another character. We well, needed that. Better. Thanks there, uh, Scraps. So, uh, about Rooter. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, don't tell me. Not Signal's idea. very good. Dag nabbit, Ace. Dag well, I like to blame someone else whenever I can. This time you get to put them back together, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I hear you, old man. Can we get out of here now? I'm just one word for the kind of day I've had today. Worse than any other day I've had ever. <laughs> hey, one short eye. Uh... Oh, is there a bug here? Oh, the background didn't change. <laughs> oh no. Who's this? Yeah. Guys, please. When I asked for a theme song for the launch of our new Centauri game platform, I was hoping for something a bit more epic. <laughs> Something memorably 
epic. That's the word, epic. Can we do epic, please? I need more epic. Did I mention I wanted something epic? Hey, oh, scum uh, More lens flare, please. Epic. You got it, MF. Oh, you want epic? We can do epic. On way. fail, guys. You're right, MF. This is all wrong. I told you guys this was all wrong. Bad, bad. All right, all right. Ming from Buck Rogers. Davis, listen up, people. We're only days away from the big launch at Andromacon. Now we're talking revolutionizing the gaming industry here. So let's get our heads out of Rectonia and get this project back on track. Capisce? <laughs> okay, on to other business. He's a real boss Bio baby, division, huh? You're up. Dr. Spleen? Okay, somebody, where's Spleen? We appear to have lost all communications with the Nostradamus. Mother! Yes, dear. You were about to say, don't make Mother get out her bar of soap hologram. Milo, might I have a word? <sighs> Yes, I, Mom 2.0. Okay, everyone, that will be all for now. Scab with one M, it's us. I'm afraid there's been an incident, an information leak Ooh, at our yeah. bio research facility. The Nostradamus? Yes, dear, but not to worry. Mommy has taken care of everything. Uh oh. Does that mean what I think it. Milo, darling, you know mm. how I've been telling you Centauri was becoming too diversified? I've simply relieved you from the burden of decommissioning the Nostradamus and terminated it's the definitely a boss, baby. division so you can focus on more universally beneficial pursuits. What, like nanotechnology, energy, financial planning? No, silly. Your new video game thingy, of course. <laughs> it's going to revolutionize the gaming industry. Well, of course it is. She has to run and take hey, care of one thank you so much, Grace. So go back to playing with your friends and just let me worry about cleaning up this nasty little mishap. Remember, dear, mummy knows best. Ta-ta. Yes, mother. <laughs> no, you're here just in time, Grayson. Thank you. When was this game going to launch? You know, the original announcement was February 2013. And, uh, that's pretty much I don't think that was ever realistic, though. I guess if you hadn't swung by, Scraps, I'd be, uh... What's that word for it? Uh, thing where you stop functioning. Oh yeah, right. Dead. So let's see. You lost your ship, lost your job, and lost your dog. Criminy boy. Yeah, Criminy. Poster boy for sucks to be me. Uh -huh. As for your job, well, I've been telling you for eons now. You got to stop a working for these franchise outfits and be in business for yourself. Yeah, but I gotta have a ship. As for losing your ship, well, I got a whole scrapyard full of fixer-uppers, and all it would take is a little elbow grease. And as for Rooter, we, I, I mean, you, can fix him too, lickety-split. But you best get on it right away. That clankety canine can come in handy around here. Yeah, you know, I can totally see how this would fit in with some of the more puzzle-driven, like, pre-Walking Dead Telltale games. I am using the suggested 1920 by 1080 Seinfeld. And thank you again for the resub, Grayson. I appreciate your support. Yeah, I did use the recommended resolution. Apparently some of the puzzles break at higher resolutions. Probably lower too, right? It's like a, it's not really an option. These things look pretty good though, right? I mean, that's not bad looking. New objective, repair router. Oh my goodness. Falls around here. Huh. That kind of looks like a Space Quest 3 kind of scenario. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Huh. I'll just wait out that meteor storm before I can venture out. Okay, that's not a bad way to keep people from heading out into danger. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> this proves that somewhere in the vastness of space, there is indeed a meteor with your name on it. Wait, it says that's a Battle Fancy 7 bots, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, 4 3 didn't work. I wonder. Yeah, like the title screen to me looked like it was probably designed with 4-3 in mind. I wonder if that's actually the case or not. 
Oops. No, I agree. I think had this come out a little closer to the middle of the 2010s, you know, I think it would have looked pretty good with the standard of what a lot of uh, adventure games looked like at the time. So, yeah, I think that... I, I agree. I think that a lot of people are going to dunk on this game for a lot of reasons. Uh, some fair and some a lot less fair. Uh, but I don't think it's bad looking at all. Considering. I mean, for what's ultimately a pretty small indie studio with a small staff working on it, um, and considering all the challenges they encountered, uh, it's hard to hard to be too mad at it. I'm fine with EGA. I mean, I would still love to have seen the two guys for their first project back together try a 2D adventure game, and then maybe build off of that experience for something a little bit more ambitious. But I also get why they wanted to push the boundaries. I mean, Sierra games back when they were 2D were pushing the boundaries of technology. Um, I can see why you would want to continue doing that even here in the present day. It's no colossal game 3D. That's a good point. That's a really good point. This part where this, the art really takes a step up. Yeah, I mean, I think part of the challenge too is that those early levels are on a ship that's kind of, you know, purposefully sterile in terms of the setting, but in the process, I don't think you really get to show off uh, as much of the detailed art. We're just dealing with like, gray corridors um you know here we have a lot more personality just right away the lighting effect there looks pretty good yeah yeah that's exactly right nick i think that's a good way to summarize it that so far the core is solid uh, a lot of love put into it but yeah it just needs a little bit more polish i really hope they're able to do that before it goes on steam and save themselves going through you know rough reviews there yeah, getting a publisher to actually fund something like this nowadays, yeah, that's a that's a pretty big challenge. But I'm at the point where I'm just jibber jabbering. So I think this might be a good time for me to pause tonight's playthrough. So let me maybe take a step back here, switch back to our bean cam, and start thinking about what happens next. Because first things first. We need to raid somewhere. Y'all have been terrific tonight. I've loved having a chat here to enjoy this with me. This has been so much fun, and I'm so glad that all of you could be here to help me out when I couldn't figure out puzzles and just hang out with me and experience this game. So thank you so much. This has been a, a real pleasure, and I hope you've enjoyed it too. Um, I think tonight we will raid over to Board Gaming Mama. Uh, all right, let me see. Is anyone else playing Space Adventure? Is that an option? Let's see. Nope, it looks like it's just me. <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll raid over then to Board Gaming Mama, who's playing something called Cult of the Lamb. I've never heard that, but I do know that Board Gaming Mama is always a fun stream to hang out with. So that's uh, that's a good place to head to. But I want to thank everybody again for hanging out, uh, for being here. Um, will I stream the rest of the game? I think so. I think I'll actually try to be back maybe tomorrow night to stream more of this because I'm enjoying it and I want to push through it. It's kind of a crazy week. Uh, as you all know, Monkey Island's out on Monday and then actually at the end of the week, I'm leaving town for a week and taking a little break from streaming. So my goal is over the next several days to cram as much Space Venture and Return to Monkey Island into this stream as humanly possible. So get ready for me to just like dive head first into all kind of adventure gaming along the way. But in the meantime, thank y'all for hanging out. If you're new here, consider dropping a follow. Always appreciate the support. For now, I'm gonna start the raid and hit the outro. And I hope I'll see y'all again back tomorrow night. I'll probably start around 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, take care and happy space venturing, everybody. See you on the other side of the raid. Mm -hmm.